I'm bored. I'm bored of you. Been in a relationship for a while? Run out of things to do with your significant other? Well, why not try meddling in the affairs of your single friends? I'm lonely. I wish I could have a relationship just like yours. Susie works at my office. Tim's my friend from college. I always trust my friend Brian's advice. Becky has great taste in men, unlike me. Single friends just love it when you tinker about in their love lives and sold separately first date spots. A coffee shop between both of their houses. A park down by the river. You're so handsome. And a bar that neither of them would normally go to so it won't get ruined if the date goes bad. It was so insightful of Brian and Becky to realize we had so many interests in common. I can't wait to have exciting first time sex with you. You mean like the kind that Brian and Becky used to have? <laughs> oh, tell him to get her flowers. She loves flowers. Remind her to bring up the cross. He played in high school and he loves talking about it. Wow, your arms are so big. Are you an athlete? It's going great. Want to make out? I, I don't. Talk to your single friends separately to get all the fun single person details. So how big was his dick? Big. Just like I always pictured. Was she funny? Uh, not really. Oh, look, you're such a prize. You know, I was thinking they should go to that spa we used to love. Maybe we should go too. Oh, Brian, yes. Our relationship is saved. And all we had to do was live vicariously through others. You know the Capital One call? Will you get off my goddamn back? Okay, all of a sudden it's gonna change. All single friends. A great way to rekindle your stale love life. Or if you're gay, just be in an open money. relationship. It's not our, our money. money. Hi, I'm Siobhan from College Humor. Click over here to subscribe and click here for more fun stuff. You filthy animals. I was abandoned in this office when I was 10 years old by my parents. I've only eaten pizza for such a long time. I think I have scurvy.